Kia ora guys, good morning from New Zealand. Over the last couple of weeks I've been continuing my retrospective with film photography. Primarily black and white, black and white film, 35mm. Watching a few videos and reading a bit of stuff, I've, I've come to understand that the Kodak Tri-X 400 gives you far more contrast, apparently, and a lot more latitude for mistakes, which I'm prone to make. I've been trying a bit of Tri-X 400, and I'm quite liking it. I've been putting it through my Olympus SP35, which I absolutely love. It's a beautiful old rangefinder. Been using everything on manual because I don't really trust the uh, onboard light meter. Been using a handheld meter to, to get my exposures right, and every, everything's coming out sweet. The one issue I've got with it is from sort of frame 18 on a, on a roll of 36, from frame 18 to around about frame 30, nothing. I'm winding it on, it's winding no click it just will not click there's nothing there so wind on again nothing there so it's just I'm, I'm losing too many frames and i don't know why it's happened on the last two or three rolls of film and i just don't know i don't know why once it's got to about frame 31 it clicks back in again and i can use it so i get, I get another four or five frames which is really ticking me off i don't know what it is if anybody out there in youtube land has got a clue what's going on it's obviously something with a film that's slipping and then re-engaging but why, why always that sort of area? I don't know. Anyway, uh, aside from that, I've been processing my own film in the, in the van here using Perceptol, Ilford Perceptol developer, stock solution, and I've been developing it around about 10 minutes, which is giving me some really nice exposures, actually. It's, it's coming out really nice. Uh, then I'm doing a little bit of scanning in the van via a something called a Wolverine Wolverine Saturn or something and it's a film to digital converter and to be honest with you not my greatest purchase ever uh, the results are all they're, all they're okay small you know they're okay for YouTube channels I guess but you know you, you blow them up on the computer and you get a lot of a lot of sort of digital artifacts and I just don't know what it is uh, there's no settings in there that you can go in and change anything so it's obviously what it is is what it is, but I'm, I'm not overly happy with it. If I wanted anything blowing up to a decent size, obviously I'll take it down to the lab and get them uh, professionally scanned. I went down to the football yesterday to shoot a bit of uh, the kids' football in the pouring rain and miserable conditions, get a few action shots, and I thought I'll take the ollie down and uh, do a little bit of film photography before kick-off and after the match and just try and get a few shots and see how they come out. This wee video is just... Uh, it's just a look at some of the photographs I managed to make over the last few weeks with a film camera. Quite enjoying it, whether or not I'll stick with film, it's a little bit of messing about. I think I'll continue to use digital, obviously, because that's my day job. Uh, and it's quick and it's clean and it's easy. This is just a little bit of messing about, especially mixing the chemicals and processing things in the van. It's a little bit like, uh, like my sad little version of Breaking Bad, but without the, uh, without the highs. Anyway, that's, uh, that's all those. <laughs> apparently anyway that's it guys so from new zealand until next time on this beautiful beautiful day wherever you are in this world hope you hope you're getting through everything you need to get through and uh, until next time guys kaki te anot. we'll see you next time
Thank you.